Astronomers, architects and any other professionals dealing with optics or urban space are familiar with such notion as light pollution. Can you imagine what it stands for? What can light pollute? Actually, light can pollute space overnight cities. Urban light sources such as road and building lighting, illuminated windows, big boards and other advertisements create a light dome over a city. The night sky loses its dark blue color. Ground lighting sources emit or reflect light in the sky creating the so-called sky glow. Light passing through or dispersing in dust or water steam reinforces such an effect. You can observe this phenomenon from non-illuminated locations, for example, when driving towards the city or looking as it disperses from the airplane. You may say, so what? How can light pollution affect our life? Actually, it can. And some advanced countries have already set to struggle with light pollution. The first thing coming to mind is something you know well from your childhood. You can see brightly shining stars in the country, but they're poorly seen in the city. Just try to remember, when did you see, for example, the Milky Way with your own eyes, or did you see it at all? Light pollution observed in large cities makes impossible astronomical observations. The light sky allows for seeing the brightest stars only. In the countryside you can easily see thousands of stars in the dark sky when the weather is good, but you will hardly see dozens of stars in the sky in the city. That's why astronomers observing the sky through optical telescopes have to search for more appropriate locations, as instead of starlight, telescopes collect light emitted by lamps and lanterns, reflected and dispersed in water, stream and dust. Well, light pollution obviously concerns astronomers, but why should common people take care of it? Ah, yes, they should. Effects produced by light illumination have not been studied thoroughly, but there is evidence that night light affects the production of serotonin and melatonin and the metabolism of humans staying awake at nights. Light pollution greatly affects the fauna. It has been proved that billions of insects die from artificial lighting. Light pollution changes the roots of migratory birds and disorient nocturnal animals. Finally, light pollution is associated with overconsumption of power, which is the reason for sky glow. Such power overconsumption entails increase in greenhouse gas emissions. Today light sources are designed and installed in such a way that a great deal of light is dispersed over space. Why not use special light sources, lamps with automated switches and directional light sources to light exactly what we need to light and avoid wasting power to light up the night sky?